Hi Instagram, Dan here, DSM Woodwork and Art in Portage, Michigan. But I'm here today to give some insight. I had an idea that I want to share. It's probably not a new idea as there's a lot of apps out there that can help with this, but I wanted to share my take on it and if you have a takeaway for it and it helps you, perfect. As we start a new year, uh, it's become more prominent to me that I have an issue that I need to solve. Uh, my wife and I were talking about this recently as we traveled back from seeing family and doing a delivery a few hours away. And that is, I'm terrible at keeping track of my mileage. Um, like a lot of you, being a woodworker and having this type of business, it may not be our full-time gig. And if that's the case, we're not always thinking, i got to keep track of those miles, especially come tax time. So, uh, you know, when I do deliveries, I keep track of that distance because it's typically not in the Kalamazoo area where we live. Uh, but as we were coming back from traveling, we thought, how can we get better at this? And as my wife pointed out, she's so smart, you got to create a new habit. You know, whether it's keeping a notepad in the car or having a mobile app, it's got to be something that I turn into a habit and remember to do. So that's partly of, uh, what I'm here today to share with you is I've got to have a new habit for tracking mileage. But being the tech person that I am, and you know, I like all things Google because of my job, um, I created something using a Google form. And so what I'm going to show you here today is how to get into Google Forms, set up what I call a mileage tracker, and then I'm going to walk you through how to set it up on your phone or mobile device as an app. Um, a mobile app doesn't have to be crazy programming. Uh, really, it's just something that can be done mobily or on the internet that can assist you in some kind of task. So we're doing a mileage tracker mobile app. Uh, what this is not it's nothing to do with QuickBooks. Um, I think was it IQ Mileage or Mileage IQ is another I found in the past. Um, some of those hook up to QuickBooks pretty well, but we are a really small, small business where um, you know we're not using QuickBooks, um, which a lot of bigger businesses out there you are using it, and so there are mileage trackers and, and tools to help you with that. Uh, but this is for those that want to do something a little more DIY that can help you. All right, so I'm in my Google Drive right now through my business account. Uh, we don't need to see everything that I have in here, but I've created a folder in my drive called Taxes. You can have it wherever, you know, 2017, 2018. The rest of my stuff is on another device. But what I've done is um, I've already got some stuff set up. I'm going to walk you through how to make your own. And then I'll show you what I've got. So we're going to go to New, go down to More, and choose Google Forms, specifically a blank form. So we've got our screen that looks a lot like this. And if you don't like purple, you can change your color palette. You can choose different pictures to have as well. Uh, I like to keep it simple. We'll go green. I like green. So the untitled form, we're going to change the title of this to Mileage Tracker. Where it says untitled form at the top left, it adopts the title of the form there. Now, there's some questions we need to have on our mileage tracker. If you're like me, um, you know, most of my driving, with this being a small family-owned business, I'm going to be driving my vehicle, the van, but occasionally uh, I'll be driving our other vehicle as well. So maybe we put here uh, vehicle driven or just vehicle. It's a multiple choice question. So, you know, in my case, we have a 2007 Chrysler Town & Country. That's my daily driver, the dad van. Another vehicle is a Chevy Traverse. That's our family vehicle. So those are the two vehicles that we've got. That way, if you need to keep track of 
um, you know, per vehicle. It's up to you, it's just extra information. I'll go ahead and mark this required. That way I don't accidentally skip it later on. I'm gonna add a question with that plus sign. And this question is going to be, uh, what is the purpose of the mileage? What, what is the purpose of driving? Uh, for, you know, for some of you, the purpose may be a delivery. It may be a material or lumber run. Maybe a material or supply run. It could be driving to meet with a client. And we'll add an other. In my case, usually I do deliveries, or I'm going uh, to the lumber yard or Home Depot, or I'm going to meet with clients. And so we've got room for an other. So we'll make this required question as well. The next question is going to be starting mileage. And it sets it up. Google Forms can read and see what you're going to be dealing with. Here we have starting mileage. It says a number. So we're just going to input the value. I'll make this required. And I'll add one more question. And that is my ending mileage. And it picks up that it's going to be numerical answer again. We'll make this required. That's the only four things that I need for my Google form for my mileage trackers, which vehicle, the purpose of the trip, starting and ending mileage. If I go to preview, it looks like this. The red stars mean that it is a required question, that you can't answer three and skip one, that it makes you do all four of them. So I'm gonna go back. Okay. Now I'm gonna up here name this mileage tracker two. That's because I already have one made. Don't you don't have to worry about that. All right. Now if we go to responses, you'll notice there's no responses yet, but this green symbol here is to create a spreadsheet. So I'm gonna create a spreadsheet, mileage tracker two responses. We're gonna create it and it goes to Google Sheets. And you'll notice that we have a place for a timestamp for the form being submitted. What's great about timestamp is it's gonna provide the date and time. So you don't have to keep track of that, it does it for you. It'll tell us which vehicle, the purpose of the driving, our starting and our ending mileage. Now on my end, this is the form that I have. I like the blue one. I don't know why that says starting mileage up there. That looks weird. There we go, vehicle. Okay, so this is what my form looks like. And this is my spreadsheet. Now, uh, we went across state this week and on that trip we did a delivery. So I counted my starting mileage is zero. I did trip beyond the odometer and my ending mileage was 424.9. So I added an extra column here. We can see in the original that it just started at, or we stopped at ending mileage. In my sheet, I've added a mileage differential column. And I'm gonna delete those cells. Not cut. row okay so the mileage differential I created a formula and this formula is e2 so I'll show you guys again we've got equals e2 that's our ending mileage minus the two our starting mileage it's always final minus initial ending minus starting enter and it's 424.9, and then we can double click where the crosshair is on that square, 
and it's going to run that formula all the way down. So we can see anywhere we go, you know, if I say I put in 3.2 and 2. Point, nope, let's say 76.5, 276.5, yikes. It already calculates the difference for me. Now, total mileage. At the end of the year, you probably want to know what total mileage is. So we're going to do equals sum. That's going to be the sum of the entire column F. That's the mileage differential. Let's fix this. We've got equals sum. Entire column of F. It doesn't count that mileage differential phrase. Then parenthesis equals. So it's going to add up the total mileage that you've driven over the course of the year. Okay. In the next part of this video, you're going to see a walkthrough uh, from the cell phone point of view that shows you how you can take it from Google Drive and create a shortcut on your home screen. So this effectively will act as a mobile app while you're out in the field. To install the mobile app, we need to locate our Google Drive app and open it. From there, we're going to locate our mileage tracker form. And open it up. Now it gets to this point, and that arrow paper airplane looking button in the top right, we're going to press that, and that's going to allow us to send the form. We're going to choose the link button, and we're going to copy that URL and repaste it up in the URL box on our internet browser on our phone. This helps us to use a responsive form rather than one that we can edit, a lot like the preview. So we're going to hit the three little uh, circles on the top right and go down to add to home screen. This will allow us to put a link to the form on our home stream. Click the mileage tracker icon on your home screen and it opens it up to the app in the browser. You're good to go now. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked what I did in this video, please like it and hit subscribe. Or as my students like to say, smash that subscribe button. You should also check out my website and buy something. My family and I would appreciate it. Take care now.